We'll guide you through how to download and add shaders to Forge in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So Minecraft Forge allows you to go and add mods to the game, but shaders can be a really great addition and make it look really nice. So we'll guide you through how you can go and add them both. So to get started, we need to come and open up a web browser like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to a site called Curse Forge, like so. Come to curseforge.com. Here we need to go and get a shader pack we wish to go and use. You can go and select Minecraft, press browse all at the top and scroll down and select shaders. Go and find a pack. In this case, I'm gonna go and use the complementary shaders reimagined, but you can browse through the shaders and find the pack you want. Then what you can do is go and download them. I'll come to the right here, press the three dots and press download file. Now what we can do is go and wait for this to download. Next, what we need to do is go and search and then called Optifine. You may have heard of it or you may have not, but it's what we can use to go and install the shaders. So go and search for them and come to optifine.net. Then what we need to do is go to the top here and we can go and press downloads. We need to go and choose the version we want. You can press show version to see more. If you're using other mods, then make sure you're using it with the same version. I'm not though, so I'll just get the most up-to-date one, which is 1.21.4. I'll go and press download. Just note down the version of Forge we're gonna need here though, so I'll go and copy that. Press download. Now you're gonna be taken to an offer or ad wall here. Just be aware this here download button, it's for the ad. It's not for Optifine. Press the skip button in the top right and then we're brought here. We can press download and it will now go and download. Now what we need to do is go and get Forge. So if you already have it installed, we'll need to reinstall it to make sure we're getting it for the right version. So come to minecraftforge.net. Then what we can do is come to the left here and choose the version. I got it for 1.21.4 and press show all versions. I'm just gonna open up a new tab and paste in it in. So I need 54034. I'll then come back here and go and find it. This is the version I need, so I'll come to the right and I'll go and press installer like so. Once again, we're on the add wall and we can go and press skip in the top right to go and download. We've now downloaded what we're going to need. Of course, you can get some mods as well, but before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. They've got so many great features, for example, one click install mod packs, instant setup so your server will be ready to play in seconds after you've gone and purchased it, 24 seven servers and support so you can go and get the help when you need it for your always online server. And there are loads of other great benefits as well. So if you're interested, check them out down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now let's go and continue with the install process. So what you want to do is go and open up the file explorer and come to your downloads. Find Forge and double click on it like so, and then make sure install client is selected and press OK. Now successfully installed. If you're unable to open it, make sure you've gone and got Java, open up your web browser and go to java.com. Press download Java and you'll need to press it download again, then go and install it like any other program. I already have it, but then you could right click on Forge, hover over open with, press choose another app, select Java and press always and it should run. If it still doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix. After you've installed it, go and open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, press installations. Scroll down and you need to go and find Forge and press the folder icon to the right. Scroll down, find the mods folder. Then what we need to do is go and drag and drop Optifine in like so. And that's it. Of course, you can add other mods as well. Then hover over Forge and we can play it. Pause the game by pressing escape, then press options and press video settings. In here, you'll find shaders you can click on and press shaders folder in the bottom left. Now what we need to do is come into our downloads and drag and drop the shaders in like so. Then there they are. You can then go and click on them. You may need to click twice and they'll then go and be applied. That's it, I'm now using shaders. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.